Okay, so I logged in to Guardian Tales, um, went straight to the shop. I felt a little bit dirty, but Akayuki's weapon was there. I spent 300 mileage on it, on a, on a four-star hero's weapon. I was like, man, I don't, this feels dirty, man. This feels crazy. Like, a four-star hero's weapon? Boy, was I in for a surprise. This weapon is amazing. Completely worth the wait. Nothing in Guardian Tales has been worth the wait as much as Akayuki's Miramasa Blade EX weapon. It is amazing. Not only, not only does it basically fix Akayuki's main weakness where she just stands there like after a samurai showdown waiting to die. It turns that last slash into an AOE. So now everyone's getting hit when she's just standing there. So it's a less chance of her getting hit during that. And it increases the damage from the last hit by 50%. That is insane. This definitely complements Akayuki. I don't know if they were just trying to take their time, trying to figure out how to master this weapon but this thing is essentially amazing it damn near makes akayuki a five-star hero she's damn near a five-star hero right now i did I, I don't even know what else to say i'm just i'm completely blown away i'm happy as a akayuki stan i guess you can you can tell how uh, biased i am towards akayuki by uh, all this praise for her EX weapon. I mean, it's just a, her EX weapon, but at the same time, it's probably one of the greatest things that's ever happened to my Guardian Tales life in regards to Akayuki. And in the shop, there's also Akayuki costumes. So uh, I, I purchased one. I'm gonna purchase the other one. Uh, eventually, I kind of low on gems, um, pretty poor at the moment. But um, I'm completely, completely happy with this EX. It is amazing. Um, it, uh... The thing about it though, there is some cons. Uh, so it's an AOE attack that you place down kind of like um, Clitvis's. So like most EX, if you move, it interrupts it. So you have to stand there the whole time. So all the attacks, so and it's also a multi-attack um, special. So each hit, raises that uh that stun gauge or the the injured gauge in uh in akayuki's you know case so that's also kind of like a con it's not just like a, a one blow causes all the you know the injured status it, it, each hit has to hit so that's actually a con but i mean other than that the way the the weapon works um, the way it benefits her uh, last hit, uh, increasing its damage, um, the stats on it, the the plus fifteen percent crit hit, it, it, it's crazy. It's like now she has even more crit hit. It, it's it's perfect. It's perfect, except for that like one small con with it being a circular, you know, thing that you place down, which is. I mean, it's probably not even a con, really. For PvE, it's probably going to be amazing. It's just in, like, PvP, it's going to probably be an issue landing that on people. But we'll see. Uh, I can't wait to make a PvP video, see how she is in PvP. Because even before EX, she was kind of okay in PvP. Definitely not meta, but... I mean, the EX can only make her better. I don't see how having this EX could make her worse in PvP. So, uh... That it should at least be fun to see her in PvP now. It's definitely fun to use her. She's definitely a fun hero now. The EX is definitely a must-have if you are an Akiyuki main. Of course, EXs are always must-have, but definitely if you're even thinking about wanting to use Akiyuki, this EX is a, a must-have. Well, that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And it's been your host, Gigi God, signing off. Goodbye. Aka Yuki's weapon is here.